For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the man. She's as always got a brand new offense for you guys today out of a brand new playbook. That's right. I am moving on to the New Orleans Saints. Probably my most requested, probably my number one uh, requested over the last couple of Maddens. I know it's one of the most popular year after year, and I kind of went away from it a little bit this year because I do realize that EA removed a lot of the really good stuff that I put out over the years. But they also added a lot of really great stuff, including the formation I'm going to show you guys today, which is the iForm Z Close. Woo! This particular formation, for whatever reason, I think it's brand new to Madden. I don't think there was anything um, like it last year. I think they used to have the iForm Regular Close, which is a really great formation. They were remove that like i said they re they replaced it with the z close i guess the z close is a really glitchy formation though without a doubt there's two pass plays in this formation that i'm going to show you guys two that react very differently than you would expect plays like the pa sale here which i'm going to start off with this particular play here it's a very basic uh cover two concept typically we're going to pick that real quick just to show you guys this is typically what you do and it's a it's a, something you do in like a z spot typically where all you do is streak the b route and this a route here uh will typically just beat the cover two now i could easily take uh you know right there you can see it does have some it does get open but it doesn't get open the same way it might have i don't know if it's based off of the patch i don't know if it's based off the formation i don't know if it's based off of this play i don't know what it is but you can see nope. here that route doesn't get open like it typically does that basically reacts much better to cover two but it reacts way worse to cover three and cover four and like i said i don't know why but this formation is super glitchy when it comes to things like that so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna pick our cover three Pick the exact same play. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is shop there. Uh, click the link below and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off what's already the cheapest coins on the market. This concept still works. I mean, this, this A route will work against cover three. You're going to see the cornerback typically gets dropped back, and then this, this route will get open underneath it. So you do still have that option. If you have a faster tight end, it'll be even better. But for whatever reason, this play now, if, as long as you run from a hash mark to the open side of the field, all you have to do is streak the B route. And this B route is one of the easiest one play touchdowns you will ever see in, in, in Madden 22, as you can see right there. The pressure kind of gave me a little bit more issue than anything else. But you can see he gets open right up the seam for an easy one play touchdown. Down. Let's go to the replay to see what happened there. Because number one, we already established that the, the tight end gets open too. On this particular route, for whatever reason, it just splits this defense super easily. All I have to do, you can see I changed direction a little bit. All you have to do is wait till he gets to a point where he's even with this cornerback, bullet and pass lead away from the free safety. And you can see I just have an easy one play touchdown over the top. But if we go back to that tight end, he's not covered either. You know what I mean? That's the thing about this particular series of plays is I could take the, this is my check down. This is like a 30, 20 to 30 yard catch and run check down that I also have the option to take but obviously I'm going to want the one play touchdown every time now there's a lot of things you can do to make this play easier you can motion this guy in I can put him on a streak to try to hold that safety over there for a little bit longer or I can just put him on a drag which I think is best and I can also block my running backs all kind of stuff I want to keep the play action though this would probably be the full setup and then you can see how we're going to have you know even with that little bit of additional um, setup you can see it doesn't change the one play touchdown at all it's super easy I just have a much better check down now so as glitchy as that is against cover three it's even glitchier against cover four quarters so we're we're gonna pick that again go down to our cover four match which is you know cover four columns cover four quarters it'll be the exact same way so exact same setup i'm just gonna streak the b route run it from the hash mark i don't know if that's really important though but it's gonna be you know the exact same result you're gonna see this guy here's just gonna run right past the best safety in madden 22 for whatever reason i mean i put out glitchy plays in that i put out glitchy plays where it you know against cover four where the guy's going by a mile but whether it's a foot or a mile it doesn't really matter i'm just trying to get a one play touchdown here so doing it one more time just to show that that's no fluke you know this is just a really easy play the only real 
real issue is when you throw the ball. You have to throw the ball at a certain point. If you throw it too late, uh, the, the you won't have enough arm strength. That's Like I said, that's more of the quarterback's issue than the play's issue. If you got like Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen or something like that, it won't really be an issue. But I want to bullet pass lead this away again. I mean, I could probably lob it up, but it's just too easy, man. I mean, there's no reason that you should be able to just put a route on a streak and it home runs cover three and cover four with no real adjustments other than one adjustment and you're hitting home runs against two of the better defenses in the game. So the next play would be the PA cross. This is another really glitchy play that's going to have a lot of, of, you know, really explosive results against pretty much any defense. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start off by picking cover three once again. Still have to run it from the hash mark, but ultimately, I mean, number one, you can see how all these crossing routes are going to be effective, but you can see that, you know, I could take these check downs or I could take the big play, which is going to be uh, Marcus Brown just coming over the top here uh, from all the way across the field. So basically, if your opponent starts keying in on that first play, if they start keying in on that audible, if they start keying in on that streak, all you really have to do is switch it over. Now you're hitting from a different spot. So typically, if they start to try to cover over there, they might end up following the crosser, and then that'll leave this X route here uh, to be a much bigger play once he crosses that safety. As you can see there, a little bit of pressure. I'd be throwing a little bit early, but you can see how he still makes a very big play. So we'll do that one more time just to show you that this is an easy play to score against. I like to roll out. If I really wanted to, I could probably, uh, you know, basically shift my line in that direction. But you can see the cornerback plays down, and that's why Brown can come over, all the way over and come over the top. So let's go to that replay real quick just to show you guys what this cornerback's doing out here, which is what makes this play so successful. He's basically, I don't want to say he's glitching out, but he's doing something where it's like he just doesn't know where to go. He doesn't know where to commit. As you can see right here, he's chopping. He's looking back. He's looking down. And it's that's all that hesitation is what makes this play work. All I have here is a fullback back in the flat. But for whatever reason, he's acting very heavily to that fullback in the flat, and that's why this play is successful. You can also hit a one-play touchdown against cover four regular, which is obviously a very popular defense. That's going to be cover four drop contain here. So typically when you're hitting a cover four one-play touchdown, you want this receiver to be out as far as possible. That's not going to be the setup here. I'm going to be very unique with this particular concept. I'm going to motion this guy in, and that's all I really have to do. Now he's going to be a one-play touchdown against cover four. The only other thing is I will slide my protection to the right. I'm going to cancel the play action typically and try to roll in that direction. But it's not 100% necessary as you can see right here. This guy here just gets over the top of the cornerback Now I threw it a little bit late would have been a one by touchdown if I threw it a little bit earlier Let's go to the replay though just to see what happened because ultimately this is something that your opponent's not going to expect This is probably one of the easier cover for one play touchdowns based on the fact that he travels only about 20 yards Before throwing the ball and as you can see right here He just gets right over the top of that cornerback He doesn't really I don't know if he doesn't see it coming the safety does but the cornerback does not and then you can see I have an alley here So that's pretty much all you have to do is wait for him to get inside uh, or over the top of the cornerback before you make that throw. You don't have to motion him in either. You can run it from where he's at. It just takes a lot longer to get across. Since the goal is to get across that cornerback, you can see by the time he does, I'm getting sacked. So it makes more sense to motion him in. So let's go and let's do that again. This time we're gonna do it with the motion. He does get behind the cornerback, even without motioning him in but I'm not going to wait that long. I want to get across that formation a lot quicker. The only real issue is the sideline now. As you can see, we get a very big play. I don't know if I'll get that catch and run I need because it's just Tyron Matthews a beast, but ultimately, I'll, go ahead, I'll try it without the motion. Maybe I can just dance in the pocket a little bit longer, get a little bit more room to the sideline this way, and you can see, you know, it's, it's a lot tighter coverage, but you can see he gets over the top. So he has a one-play touchdown with the motion man and you don't motion him. Same as the previous play. And then when it comes to this play, I think you can really run this against any defense. I mean, the crossing routes are great checkdowns the a route the b route both of them are going to be open against just about anything man or zone i think that you know these routes will have success so right here like i said i can wait for that b route there you can see nothing's really following that that's wide open like i said the crossers are just as good on this play as the one play touchdown play so you can just do this over and over once again b route nothing's really there just wait for him to cross this is a very hard to stop play as is even if it wasn't for the one play touchdown versions uh that you can run against this pretty much all game so i'm gonna kind of end the video there if you guys want to see more plays out of this formation or more plays out of the saints in general i plan on doing a bunch of offenses out of the saints pretty much all week just hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below Thank you.